next trailer that we have to go into, uh, this is called The Holdovers. This is the official trailer, and it will be in select theaters October 27th and everywhere on November 10th. So I guess this is having like a double release type of thing to where, you know, it'll release to like a like to a, a small portion of people and then release to everyone later date. Or maybe they mean everywhere, meaning like streaming afterwards. But who knows? Let's let's check it out and see what the holdovers is about. You just earned yourself a detention, sir. He was already one big detention. Son of a What I have no idea what's happening. Sir, I don't understand. That's glaringly apparent. I can't fail this class. Oh, don't sell yourself short, Mr. Coates. I truly believe that you can. <laughs> Every year at Barton Academy, students, what? faculty, and staff depart the campus for a two-week winter break. But there are always an unfortunate few who have nowhere to go for the holidays. They're known as the holdovers. Mr. Hunnam. Hello, Mary. I had oh. you guys stuck with babysitting duty this year. How'd you manage that? You know, he used to be a student, right? Yeah, that's why he knows how to inflict maximum pain on us. Oh. I thought all the Nazis were hiding in Argentina. Stifle it, Tully. <laughs> you no. just earned yourself a detention, sir. Being here with you is already one big detention. Son of a bitch, that's another detention. Do you think I want to be babysitting you? No, I was praying your mother would pick up the phone or your father would arrive in a helicopter or a flying saucer. My father's to take dead. <laughs> You don't tell a boy. That so is mine, so I get to laugh, that nobody all right? nobody wants him? What's wrong with you? There's nobody here, okay? So you stay out of my way, and I'll stay out of yours. Let me sleep. In the now, most of the kids dislike you, pretty much hate you. Teachers, too. You know that, right? I find the world a bitter and complicated place, and it seems to feel the same way about me. I think you and I have this trailer common. took in a, an enormous turn. I don't think I've ever had a real family it was Christmas like this before. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. History is not simply the study of the past; it is an explanation of the present. See, when you say it that Yo. way, you throw in some pornography. It's a lot easier to understand. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what you are. I'd like to propose a toast. To my oh. two unlikely companions. Are you trying to lift down my shirt? No. <laughs> yes. You're gonna get me fired. <laughs> this is your Rubicon. Do not cross the Rubicon. Okay. <laughs> the holdovers. Oh, Jesus! Okay. Did that show a lot? Yes. Yes, it did. Is it okay that it showed a lot? Also, yes, because I think that that is going to be an incredible movie. I had no idea what it was going at first. I thought it was going to I thought it was more Breakfast Club vibes at, at at first as well. That's that's definitely the vibes that I got also, Marisu. I was like, "Oh, okay. So they're giving us a new Breakfast Clubs." But then like halfway through it was like, "Nope, we're not getting that at all. We're getting something completely different." So, I am super uh I'm super here for this, yo. I'm not going to lie. I think I I think it um I like that it's old school, but I don't at the same time. You know what I mean? It's very, I don't know why, but I it, it, I get a little, okay, let me say what I like about it before I talk about what I don't. I love the entire vibe of what we got from this. I love all the actors that we've seen, that we saw in this trailer as well, and the way that they're portraying uh, themselves. Uh, I, I love this whole first part. You know, it just looks so good. Um, I think it's been a very long time since we've got a really good heartfelt movie that's going to these lengths, you know what I mean, to give us the understanding of the dynamic of not just the student, but also the teacher. Like, the moment when he says, you know, no one likes you here, right? Like, not the students and not the teachers. No one does, you know what I mean? Like, I really... I really appreciate that because it means we're going to get so many vibes from this movie that we're not even going to be able to control it. I think uh, I th it's even shot 
like it was on old cameras, which I don't understand how that's possible. But this legit looks like the quality of an old movie, but at the same time with the quality of today. You know, no idea what's going on there. But uh, and I'm definitely interested in seeing how they did that and kind of going a little bit deeper with that type of stuff. But this seems like they're doing a damn good job for this movie for overall. They're going to crazy lengths. Um Freedom, it's giving me like Freedom Rider vibes as well. Like Freedom Riders, Breakfast Club, you know, all of these different movies. It's giving me a lot of those different vibes just smushed into one fantastic movie. Like that, or at, at least what it seems is going to be a fantastic movie, right? So I'm definitely hyped for this. Definitely can't wait to see when it comes out. Now I'm going to talk about what I don't like, and that is that I'm very peeved that we don't get a lot of these heartfelt type of movies in the modern day vibe you know like in our era i don't know why everyone wants to go back in the day for everything uh back in the day you know like and give us these like period pieces i guess um when it's like yes we need these movies for this day and age but we also need these movies in this day and age you know what i'm saying like I, I don't know what else that I don't know how else to kind of explain what I've just said, but that's what that's what it is. You know what I mean? I would love to see these heartfelt movies like this be in the modern day and age. Like give uh, give us a new Freedom Riders for you know what I mean for all intense purposes. So I'm here for this. I can't wait for this movie to come out. I'm going to see it in theaters. Battery. Excuse me. Battery will probably actually really like this movie as well. I think uh, Remy's going to like it. I think Han Hannah's going to like it. I think everybody will help, will like this movie. So hopefully we're able to kind of get together and go check it out. Maybe do – this seems like one of the – this seems like an, a, either like a, a date night type of movie or go out with all your friends and kind of just enjoy a good movie. You know what I mean? And be able to just discuss it afterwards and, and kind of go in, in depths of how – what you thought about it and things like that. So I think this was a great trailer, uh, even though it did seem like it showed way too much for me. But I don't know. I, I guess it's a good thing that it didn't show too much because it doesn't finesse us, you know? But – Hey, I'm here for it. So let me know how you guys feel about this trailer in the comment section down below. That trailer was definitely put together like something from the early 90s. I agree completely, and I love that, and I hate it at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, I love it, and I hate it. Love it, and I hate it. <laughs> like, love it, and I hate it for sure. So.